everyone welcome back and uh, this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, see the last video we have discussed about uh, print message right print message so when you click on a button it works right but thing is one small disadvantage in this approach what is that is button tag on click you call a function so this is actually called as inline JavaScript you know what inline CSS right uh, you write a HTML tag and then you write the styles inside with the tag itself. You may write, uh, you know, now bar style equal to background color and all this. So if you write the styles in that way, so inline CSS is not recommended because you must not mix the HTML and CSS. Okay, that's why you have to take a separate file. Correct. Same way, observe here. So what is happening here? This is button tag HTML language and you call a function function is come from javascript language okay so you are mixing a javascript function call with the html tag so it is again inline javascript suppose you write on click one function on blur one function on print one function if you keep writing the function calls in here one fine day you will mess up the code because uh, because you you never know where is html and where is javascript so what i'm saying is you must have to clear i mean you must have to separate the function call also so what i'm saying is in html you have to write only html not even a single function call of javascript that's what actually perfect way correct see html only html cs only css javascript only javascript but only one problem is we are making javascript call here also so now in this video we'll do a same example okay same example but here i tell you without writing on click but i make still the functionality has to work without writing on click so it's a pure html and you never see a function call also okay so we do the function call using javascript itself so, okay let's see what is that uh, so that concept is actually called as javascript even event listeners okay so javascript event listeners so what is this event listeners is uh, we are going to make the events handling from javascript itself and we don't need to write anything here so here you have some concepts i mean you have some steps the thing is uh, so which are the element you want to apply some events which are the html tag you want to apply the events so you have to get the html tags and then you have to attach an event and for that event you have to write a function so only just three steps three steps to to make any event handling the very first step is get the html element okay or tag that's first one and second one attach an event to the element element or tag then then write a function for event handling that's it okay so what i'm saying is get the elements attach an event and write a function so three steps so let's let's make this approach for the same example so i do one thing i just copy the division i just copy the same i will paste it or else uh, or else uh, we'll do one thing can we comment this okay i comment that okay and uh, the same thing i will paste it below yeah okay so this is you can use for future reference i'm just commented yeah so here it's still working because i don't need to write this i delete okay let me delete this one and let me delete this one and let me also delete this one okay see here you have a pure html and no function call so now check when you click on any button nothing will work because you, you remove the function call right now i want to do that logic from my javascript so what you do uh, here let me make it uh, okay let me keep there so first i want to do a good morning button logic okay now thing is the moment i click on the button i have to call a 
function right so when you click on a button so in this process what you do you have to get the elements because you have, I'm clicking on the good morning button so you have to get that button attach an event and then call a function so how to get the good morning button is see here uh, in HTML you have these many buttons okay if I say document dot query selector of button what happens you may get any button you are not sure which button has got right so you want to select a particular element then what you do you have to write a ID so let's make an ID uh, GM minus BTN okay so here an ID because I want to particularly select uh, a proper button so uh, good afternoon button and ID GE button and ID GN button so you have an ID different differently for all now tell me how to get the good morning button using the ID so copy the ID so let's good morning button is equal to document dot query selector of hash paste so I go make a camel case yeah so I got the good morning button so after you get the button you are going to yeah I got it and attach an event how to attach an event is good morning button dot there is a function called add event listener add event listener okay add event listener here um, add event listener you have to provide first event what is the event you are going to provide uh, here see previously what we have done on click right so on click is actually the moment when you click on a button right but actually when you talk about the event it is just click image so remember always when you're writing with HTML it must be on click on blur on name will be there but here when you're writing with event listener there is no on just click blur DB click like that so click events comma one function like this okay so you have to get the elements attach an event and call a function okay so what is the logic you write I just write some alerts alert message uh, GM button is clicked good morning button is clicked now check when I click on a good morning yes I got alerts it means process works but I don't need alerts I want the message where is the message you have a separate function right simply call that function so print wish message I want to pass good morning and also the color uh, lime green that's it so now save it see here you have not write any function call correct but you have made everything in here just get the button uh, the moment when a click happens then call this function that function is uh, is doing internally calling some other function okay now check and I click on good morning it works okay so this is actually perfect way of writing uh, even handling of JavaScript so let's make it for all so let me copy this and make it for all the buttons so this is good afternoon button good afternoon button this say GA and this also GA and GA button dot click let's make good afternoon and what is this uh, orange red and let me copy this paste paste uh, good afternoon over this is good evening and this is gonna be GE and GE and GE and uh, evening color uh, color purple good night this is GN 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 and uh, good night and the color is black so it may have multiple number of lines but this is the perfect way of writing okay so I have made everything for all the buttons and nothing is there here so I commented this one nothing function called here but still everything is working okay fine uh, so this is how uh, 
event handling uh, can be done using JavaScript event listener. So just remember, simple thing. So which are the element you want to apply the event? Just get the element. Okay. So suppose you click on a button, right? So get the button. Okay. So what are you going to do with the button? I'm going to click on a button. So just attach a click event to the button. Okay. And after you attach, then make a function and call it. Okay. See here. We just get the button, attach an event and call a function. So this is how you write for any event handling for any other elements. Okay. So yeah. So enough for this. This is actually we have learned the event listeners. So in the next video, we'll see some uh, good examples on uh, um, JavaScript event handling. Okay. Some real examples we'll see. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll make in the next video. Thank you.